let us do the question find all points of discontinuity of f where f is defined by this the following question six seven like that all those now here is a trick uh, you can notice one thing that the points where the equality sign is there here in question number six x is less than equal to equal to two okay the equality sign is at the point two you can check in the question seven equality sign is in minus three and in three here it is in zero equality sign is in zero here it is in one here it is in two okay here it is in one why i am showing these questions at first uh, in order to make it easier for you and to make you understand that we need to check only at those points where the equality sign is there to find the points of discontinuity or the points of continuity because at the other points at the other points suppose for example uh, question number six x less than two two minus h and two plus h for the points x less than two suppose less than two is one the one minus one h and the right hand limit is one plus h both you can see will give us less than two value okay that means for both the cases left hand limit and right hand limit we have to use the same function 2x plus 3 even if you take the point 2 there also you have to use for both left hand limit and the right hand limit as the same function 2x minus 3 so we shall not check at those points here where the inequality signs like less than or greater than signs are there so we shall check the points of discontinuity at the points where the equality sign is mentioned okay i think you understood it okay let us do uh, question number six at first see the functions properly 2x plus 3 when x less than equal to 2 2x minus 3 if x greater than 2 okay the given function is 2x plus 3 when x less than equal to 2 2x minus 3 when x is greater than 2 this is the given function so equality 2 is there that means we shall check the discontinuity or the point of continuity what is mentioned okay we shall check at 2 so let us do the way that we have done in the previous video left hand limit equal to limit h tends to 0 f of a minus h that means 2 minus h limit h tends to 0 as a function for 2 minus h which is less than 2 or less than equal to 2 you can say the function is given 2x plus 3 that means 2 x means here 2 minus h 2h 2 minus h plus 3 if you put h equal to 0 here it will give us 2 to the 4 plus 3 7 likewise we will find the right limit it is limit h tends to 0 2 plus h is greater than 2 that means the function 2x minus 3 we have to use x means 2 plus h then minus 3 minus 3 so how much it will give us if we put the value h equal to 0 here 4 minus 3 1 thus we have seen left hand limit and right hand limits are not equal because left hand limit is 7 and right hand limit is equal to 1 thus we get left hand limit not equal to right hand limit that means the function is discontinuous at the point x equal to 2 uh, we are asked to find the point of discontinuity therefore you have to write the answer the point of discontinuity is at x equal to 2 okay i think you understood it let us do question number 7 fx equal to mod f x plus 3 when x less than equal to minus 3 minus 2x when my x lies between minus 3 and 3 and 6x plus 2 when x greater than equal to 3 as I have shown you there are two points at x equal to minus 3 and at x equal to 3 so at these two points we have to check the point of discontinuity so one by one let us do let us do at x equal to minus 3 left hand limit limit h tends to 0 f of minus 3 minus h limit h tends to 0 minus 3 minus h that means this is less than minus 3 isn't it this is less than minus 3 this one so the mode of x plus 3 that function we are going to 
use mod of x x means minus 3 minus h plus 3 so if we put h equal to 0 here this one then it will give us minus 3 mod of minus 3 which will be plus 3 then plus 3 plus 3 is 6 that means left hand limit is 6 right hand limit f of minus 3 plus h limit h tends to 0 minus 3 plus h that means minus 2.999 like that if h is equal to 0 0.0001 so minus 3 plus h will give us minus 2.999 like that that means it will lie in between minus 3 and 3 so we are going to use the function minus 2x minus 2 x means here minus 3 plus h if we put h equal to 0 it will give us plus 6 that means till now left hand limit and the right hand limits are equal now we need to check f of minus 3 that means value of the function at the point minus 3 now if it is exactly minus 3 then exactly minus 3 that means equal to minus 3 this will be mod of x plus 3 mod of x plus 3 mod of x x means here minus 3 so minus 3 plus 3 that means 3 plus 3 6 so what we got we got left hand limit equal to right hand limit equal to f of minus 3 that means at minus 3 the function is continuous okay next we shall check at x equal to 3 the same way we have to do left hand limit LHL limit is tends to 0 f of 3 minus h equal limit h tends to 0 3 minus h that means 3 minus 0 0.001 which will be like 2.999 that means it will fall in this category minus 3 less than x less than 3 that means we have to use the function minus 2x so minus 2 x means here 3 minus h so if we put h equal to 0 we will get minus 2 into 3 that means equal to minus 6 again right hand limit limit h tends to 0 f of 3 plus h limit h tends to 0 3 plus h means 3 point something that means 6x plus 2 6 x means here 3 plus h plus 2 putting h equal to 0 we will get 18 plus 2 20 thus we have seen no need to find f3 because already we got this one they are not equal okay that means the function is not continuous at the point of point at the point x equal to 3 the point of discontinuity is x equal to 3 okay next question is question number 8 fx equal to mod of x by x when x is not equal to 0 and equal to 0 if x is equal to 0 the given function is like this fx equal to mod of x by x when x is not equal to 0 equal to 0 when x is equal to 0 so we have to check at the point x equal to 0 left hand limit limit h tends to 0 f of 0 minus h that means minus h limit h tends to 0 minus h h is a very small positive quantity minus will give us negative quantity but it is not equal to 0 as not equal to 0 so you have to use the function mod of x by x mod of x x means here minus h by minus h the value of x is minus h okay equal to limit h tends to 0 mod of minus h is plus h then below it is minus h we can cancel minus h plus h it will give us minus 1 so left hand limit is equal to minus 1 right hand limit limit h tends to 0 f of 0 plus h that means plus h h is positive this is not equal to 0 so again we have to use this function mod of h by h limit h tends to 0 mod of h means h by h 
we can cancel h and h which will give us one so what we got we got left hand limit not equal to right hand limit because left hand limit is minus one and right hand limit is plus one they are not equal isn't it so the function is discontinuous at the point x equal to zero question number nine i left for you even question number 10 let us do question number 11 uh, here we have to check at the point 2 because equality sign is there at the point 2 x cube minus 3 then x cube x square plus 1 at x equal to 2 left hand limit limit a stands to 0 2 minus h limit a stands to 0 2 minus h means less than 2 x cube minus 3 x is here 2 minus h 2 minus h whole cube minus 3 5 the left hand limit is 5 the right hand limit limit a stands to 0 f of 2 plus h limit a stands to 0 2 plus h means more than 2 so x square plus 1 x square plus 1 x means 2 plus h 2 plus h whole square plus 1 put h equal to 0 here 2 square means 4 4 plus 1 is 5 so till now left hand limit and right hand limits are equal now our duty is to check the value of the function at the point 2 when equal to 2 when it is equal to 2 then this the first function we have to use x cube minus 3 minus 3 8 minus 3 which is equal to 5 that's what we got left hand limit equal to right hand limit equal to f of that means the uh, given function is continuous at 2 as we have understood that it is continuous at the point less than 2 even for more than 2. That means the given function is continuous in its domain so there is no point of discontinuity of discontinuity. I hope you were able to catch my points what I have mentioned during my discussion. Uh, if not, then you please comment. I shall reply your comments.